<laughs> Don't take That's it okay. away. Victoria Scarry with Craft House Studios is here. And these are what we're going to be doing. The necklace was fantastic. This is one of the cutest <laughs> things I think. I'm excited. Yeah, we have, know, a, yeah, we have a couple. So I'm going to I'm gonna go in a first. So St. Patty's Day is coming up. And I tell you, there's two things I hate. Number one, being pinched. And number two, <laughs> wearing Kiss Me on My Irish shirt. So what I did is I made this. You know, you're used to seeing a fiesta flower crown. Yes. So I'm, I actually created a, a shamrock crown. So you guys are going to help me with this. Okay. And all we're going to do. Okay. So I've taken a, a piece of floral wire mm -hmm. and just kind of made it into a circle, made sure it fit my head. These are so cute. <laughs> and then we're just going to take some felt cutouts. And you can either cut it yourself or you can use okay. um, some pre-bought that you can find. You know, you can find them at the dollar store. You can find them at the dollar spot. <laughs> So wherever you, uh, you know, wherever they sell, you know, St. Patrick's themed stuff, you can usually find these cut out uh, shamrocks. Yep. These are and so you're just going to stick them on there. So you mm -hmm. put you're your felt. Put, yeah. So these are already sticky, but you can oh, totally use okay, so, glue oh, gun wait, as sorry. well. <laughs> yeah. One, yeah. So and you'll have one shamrock you, on one side and then the circle on the back. No, the oh, circle. Okay. Sorry. The circle on the back to get it to stick. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm thinking about the shepherd's pie. I know. He's thinking about the shepherd's pie. I got him on the wrong side. Okay. Okay. There we go. And so we'll continue to keep going until you get this whole effect all around. And then I just tied some, just some regular curling ribbon. Um, a lot of people have this in the house for gift wrap, just to make a little <laughs> rainbow on the back. And mm -hmm. there you go. So you can, cute. You can toss aside those uh, those kitschy cute. shirts for this year. Yeah, Love I don't. It. I'm not a fan of those either. <laughs> and the kids can wear these. And, and the so kids cute can wear them. It's a great way to get them involved and teach them about St. Patrick's Day. Inexpensive too. Perfect. Yep. And another great way to get the kids uh, involved yes, yes. is so we have made <laughs> leprechaun rocks, and so that's what you see here. Um, and so what we'll do is I'm going to show you how to make these leprechaun rocks, and then what you would do is actually hide them in the backyard and make like a little scavenger hunt, so oh. similar to like an Easter egg hunt. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to make these, and then we're going to show you how to make this little faux volcano effect. So okay. right now we have one cup of baking soda in each mm. of these, and I'm just going to pour you guys a couple drops of the green food coloring. You notice that Mike and Jen both have their gloves on. Because okay. they will stain. Because they will stain. I learned the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> so each of you can take one of those. This is the one quarter cup of just water and some green food coloring. Okay. Pour it all in. And then you're just going to use your hands and just kind of crumble it all together. It's going to feel a little bit like muddy sand. Okay. Yeah. I love that. The kids will love the doing this. The kids will love doing oh, this part, And it mixes up really, I mean, just nice and quick and easy, too. It's super quick, super right. easy. Yeah, and then once you've done that, you'll actually mold them into little balls, and you'll stick a little, uh, you'll stick one of these little coins inside. Whoa, my love. So you have... <laughs> Sorry. I mean, flicking things. Well. Yeah. So you and have then, a six-year-old and a three-year-old. Do they enjoy this? Yeah. So they they like to get messy. So this is one of the things that uh you know we like to. Did you get your put, coin? Yeah, right? yeah. You can just put it right oh, here. Okay, you can put it right here, and you're actually going to let these dry overnight, guys, um, okay. so that they're nice and hard for the next day. Okay. So now that you've made your leprechaun rocks, and we're going to go ahead and let them dry overnight, and. We have a finished rock right here. Okay. And so we're going to actually activate it by dropping it into, we're going to wash them with vinegar. <laughs> oh, no. Drop it into the vinegar, not <laughs> drop okay. it the vinegar. Okay. All right. So you want to do drop the it honors? Yep. Pieces. Go ahead and Ready? drop it in there. Here it goes. Yes. And Leprechaun at the rock. end of the rainbow is a pot of gold. And in this case, the rock. They get the gets nice washed gold and you find a gold coin. Yeah, so you can use vinegar or you can use lemon juice. It's the same old, you know, volcano okay. science experiment. Um, and that's what you'll do. And so once that stuff's it's a lot busy, of fun. there'll be a little oh, gold they will coin love inside. You have a deal for viewers today, right? I do. So if you go to crafthousestudios.com and book your first workshop with us, you use the code SA Live and you'll get ten dollars off. And you have a fiesta. We have a fiesta coming up, right? Yeah, we have mm. a fiesta. -ry. That's our seasonal workshop for the month to DIY okay. your own fiesta. -ry. Ah, perfect. Wonderful. Looks great on the door. And if you'd like more information on all these great crafts from Victoria and Craft House Studios, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.